Uh, well, extreme heat is something that we see every summer here in Las Vegas. Still, ER doctors say every year they see patients rolling into the ER with heat related injuries, and they're sending a reminder to tourists and residents alike that this Vegas heat is nothing to play with. Vegas heat is nothing to mess around with. Uh, when it hits 110, 115 degrees, uh, it is insanely hot. You need to be very careful. Starting Wednesday, an excessive heat warning goes into effect here in the valley. Temperatures are expected to climb well above 100 degrees in southern Nevada. Local ER doctor Clarence Dunnigan says every year when the extreme heat rolls in, so do the patients suffering from heat-related illnesses. Well, obviously, homeless, homeless patients are very susceptible to the heat. Uh, we certainly see a lot of elderly people as well. But while people experiencing homelessness and the elderly might be most at risk to the dangerously high heat, another group that finds themselves impacted are tourists. You've got a lot of people that come to Vegas and are drinking too much alcohol and not sleeping and, and possibly doing drugs as well. So they're doing a lot of things that get them very dehydrated and then they go lay, you know, at the side of the pool when it's 110 degrees all day. So yes, we do see a lot of people that are profoundly dehydrated from doing all those activities. The extreme heat warning goes into effect Wednesday and will continue through Friday. When it comes to staying safe in these deadly temps, Dr. Dunnigan has some advice that he says people should make sure to follow. Things that have caffeine, caffeine's a diuretic that makes you dehydrated. Alcohol uh, gets you uh, very dehydrated. So really regular old water. Definitely stay hydrated. We certainly like electrolyte drinks. If somebody's not a diabetic, you'd like to mix in a little bit of Gatorade for the electrolytes. Um, but basically just, you know, stay out of the heat and, and uh, definitely be in, in cool places. Marie, as you can see, the emails have been pouring into our inboxes all day. Adam Lambert, Alanis Morissette, Keith Irvin, even Rick Ross, you name it, they're coming. This evening, we're taking you on a mini tour of who's new and who's making a comeback. Our first stop, Vegas' newest strip property, Resorts World. I hope you'll join me in Las Vegas at my brand new show at Resorts World this coming November. Joining Celine, a star-studded lineup of residencies, including Carrie Underwood, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan. Moving down the strip, it's the Venetian coming to the stage. It's 80s pop icon Debbie Gibson and boy band pop star Joey McIntyre teaming up in August. While legendary bands Earth, Wind and Fire and Chicago make their return this fall. On to Caesars. We're coming this summer. It's Usher making his residency debut at the Coliseum in August. Adding to the star power, Sting taking the stage in October. Staying under the Caesars umbrella at Planet Hollywood, it's all about the girl power. Gwen Stefani is back at Zappos Theater this fall, along with shirt, short skirts, uh, uh, oh. Shania Twain, who hits the stage this fall in February. At Harris, a familiar face makes his solo residency debut this summer, Donny Osmond. Returning to Donnie's old home, the Flamingo, the fierce and fabulous ladies of RuPaul's Drag Race. And this defying audience once again this July is Chris Angel Mindfreak at Planet Hollywood. Across the street at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, with the Rebel Yell, you'll get more, more, more of Billy Idol in October. Speaking of music legends. <laughs> At the House of Blues, it's guitar great Santana returning for his ninth year. And at the Westgate, it's beloved crooner Barry Manilow coming this fall. On to the MGM family of entertainment where the roster runs deep. Opening his first residency on the strip is magician Shin Lim. The America's Got Talent winner takes the stage in July at the Mirage. And coming to the MGM Grand Garden Arena this July. The heavyweight of comedy, Dave Chappelle. Joining Chappelle is funny man Joe Rogan. Meanwhile, this summer, the Park MGM will leave the door open for this sellout star. Bruno Mars is back this July. We'll have to see if Anderson Pack will join him on stage. Now, this by no means is a complete listing of all the headliners and shows on the strip. Some other big names, as you can see, include The Weeknd, Billie Eilish, George Strait, all coming to the T-Mobile, the Jonas Brothers at Park MGM, and also John Legend at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. 
And hey, look at this. Popular shows from Magic Mike all the way down to the Jabberwockies. Look at all this. Even Cirque du Soleil. They're either back or will be back. So very excited as Vegas reopens as the entertainment capital <laughs> of the world. Yeah, homicide detectives have literally been working around the clock on this case. They thought they had the boy identified over the weekend. That turned out to be a false lead. Still, police will not give up until this child receives justice. It's hard for us because for us to begin an investigation, we have to identify him. It's a face someone knows, a child someone is missing. Metro Police asking for help identifying this little boy, thought to be 8 to 10 years old. His body found Friday morning off State Route 160 in Mountain Springs between Las Vegas and Pahrump. Homicide Lieutenant Ray Spencer. If you noticed anything in the Mountain Springs area, like a car pulled off on the side of the road, a car driving slowly on the side of the road, reach out to us, call our tip line, and we are following up on every tip. Today, a small cross marks the area where the body was found near a hiking trail. While calls have come in from as far away as Nebraska and Iowa, police have been able to rule many of those tips out and are focusing attention on leads closer to home in Clark and Nye County. We have people calling in. I haven't seen you know, the, my next door neighbor. We're going to those houses one by one and confirming that every child is okay. For now, Spencer is not releasing how the child was killed or any details about the scene itself. What they need is a name. There's a school teacher out there who had him hopefully in a class. There's a grandmother out there who hasn't seen her grandson in a couple of days. And you can only hide the fact that your grandson or your, your nephew is missing for so long. And those are the people that we're asking and pleading with to reach out and call us so we can verify their well-being. Hi, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.